this training together as well. We have couples as well. I see Sherry with her couple. I've seen quite a few couples because I've scrolled through everybody uh, during today's session. See a lot of familiar faces, a lot of new faces as well. So nice to meet you in French. Ashante, Stephanie with that little one. She that that baby is the cutest baby I've ever seen. Like just so cute. Uh, Clarissa in the house. How you feeling, girl? So, so, so amazing, Jen. I have to tell you, no matter how many times you do these workouts, it's like everything just lights me up inside. And today when you said the sky is not the limit, it's just the view. Like, it's so, so true. Thank you so much for what you're giving to all of us. Oh, my absolute pleasure. I honestly, all my, the pleasure is all mine. Um, I see Daniela still finishing up the Jacob's Peak. Samantha Sweet, David Guest. Oh, he doesn't even have a last name. Just David Guest, like that. Um, <laughs> I could, I could keep going on that one. I won't. Um, what is his name? That is his last name. <laughs> that, that is his last name. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Who do you think is a better last name, Sweet oh, or Guest? I think I have a better last name. You? No chance. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So if this is our first time meeting, I mean, I, re I recognize David, I recognize Clarissa, uh, obviously I recognize Kim as well. Um, so many people, but if this is our first time meeting, you know, very, very nice to meet you. When you take that sample workout, know that it's absolutely a sample and a taste of not even one of the days. It is cardio and strength coming together. And in the program, they are completely separate. They are not together at all. So it's very important to understand this is a strength program, three days strength with two days cardio. Some people might call that a hybrid. I call that the ideal, the ideal combination of strength and cardio to see results for most people. Obviously, if you're training for something very specific like a 10K, a marathon, some cycling event, like a triathlon, those are different kinds of goals. But for the general population, I've been asked this for so many years and I've got the most best results from that combination, three days strength and two days cardio. So I'm really fired up for you to experience job one, job one, again, just a taste, just a sampling. And I can't wait for you to um, really come to the table and see what you are able to accomplish in just four weeks. My goal with this program is that after four weeks, you absolutely love this way of training. You love the results you see. You love the efficiency use of your time that you want to keep coming back. And each round that you do come back, you are stronger. You're able to uh, complete the movements more efficiently. And the fact that, that there are no two workouts are the same gives you something to look forward to, which I'm very excited. And it's hard to accomplish that. No two workouts are the same, yet the program is still progressive to see results, meaning it's not random 20 minute workouts that you could go find on any sort of fitness platform. This is a program. The formats stay the same. Those muscle groups change, which again, gives you something to look forward to. I'll let Kim kind of jump in a little bit as well. Yeah, I love that. Honestly, Jennifer, I feel I wrote in the chat, I said, I don't know that I can ever do another format of programming again, because the, for me, even in the last four weeks, the physical changes for me personally have been transformative, um, but also the mental and the emotional, you know, one of the things that I really love about your program, Jennifer, is like, I believe there's a lot of people in the world that say, I don't like to work out. I don't have time. I don't, this isn't for me. There's too many spaces in between the programs. So for me, one of the ways, you know, and for everybody that's listening and that's going to listen, because we're going to be dropping these at this in the info group, it's just really understanding. And maybe you can kind of shed a little light on like why you decided to do this. Um, I'm just going to, there we go. Um, but for me, it's like, it's the fast effective and the quickness of it. And I'd love for you to elaborate. I believe this is low, lower impact. Like I'm able to do this post kids. I'm in my forties, which again, I'm, a, I'm an athlete. I have been for a long time, but like, as we age, it's not as easy to be as able and mobile and supple. Right. And I felt like this, this program actually set me up for success. 
Um, can you elaborate on that? Like the functionality of, of your moves, because I think they're low, more low impact, but I'd love your, your expertise in that. So I'll start with the moves first. The movements are straightforward. There are a lot of moves in this industry that you might see on Instagram that look really cool, but they are not really great for your body. They're not functional. I once had a client, she sent me someone's post. This is chick, she was like a beast. And I, she was in a bear plank. She threw her hands above her head, touched her knees, kicked her feet. I mean, it was like, and I thought, she's like, do you think I'll be able to, you know, uh, do you think I should do something like that? Like I should train for that? So I get on the floor, of course, I almost bust my face open. And I'm thinking, I mean, unless you really want to be great at this move, we could definitely train for it. But what is it going to do for you? Like, are you thinking it's going to get you closer to your goal? And she was like, no, I just, I just thought like, it was so cool. I said, you have to understand things you see on Instagram are sped up. They are edited. I don't know. There's like Facetune for video now. It's not all that meets the eye sometimes with these moves. So I've always had this approach of being functional with my clients. I've been doing this since college. I really fell into personal training by joining a gym myself. I'm in the gym. I'm seeing all these young trainers. The manager sees me. He's like, oh, you, you'd make a great trainer too. And I thought, oh, this would be fun. You know, kind of like the side little thing you do while you're in college. And I became enthralled with it. I, my clients' goals became my goals. And I learned a very important thing that people's lives change over a course of period of time. Parent, you become a parent perhaps, or your job changes, the stress is demanded upon you. But everyone has the same needs. It's to move better optimally. So that is where functional training comes into play. I know a lot of you probably just did 645, which is another functional training program. It is a longer program that really helped to educate people, maybe kind of undo a lot of the negative habits you might have had. Who knows? It is a very educational program, so it took more time, right? And it was quite demanding. It was a huge commitment. And that was the point of that program. Can you commit? Not everybody can. Not everybody can. So that's where I'm grateful we're coming after 645 because there's all the education. Now I'm bringing the efficiency. What can we get done in 20 minutes? Now, if these are straightforward movements that are not gonna require you to spend 15 seconds to figure it out, you're gonna maximize your time. I do this in a way where the three strength days have three muscle pairings. So rather than seeing the traditional chest and tries, back and buys, okay, we've, we've, I've seen that since like, I've heard it just has existed for a very long time since the eighties. And that's cool. That's a bodybuilding way of doing things. When you do split training, when you're training six days a week strength. Now, when we're focusing here in job one are three muscle pairings. And what that does are three things. First and foremost, it reduces overtraining, overuse of the same muscles and muscle joints and movements. So if you do legs twice a week, for example, you're probably going to see a lot of squats, a lot of reverse squats, lunges, those things, et cetera. That's using the same muscle joint, your knee joint. So the way in which I built these strength days, you're focusing more on hip hinge pattern, then knee hinge the, in, in terms of just the lower body. Because a lot of overuse of the same muscle increases your chance of injury. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants the knees that don't feel great. I've also given you something to look forward to. So I don't get all jazzed when it says chest day. I'm like, eh, okay. But if it's chest, core, and arms, then I'm definitely going to show up for that session. So it gives you something to look forward to. And it also helps you to avoid plateauing. So it's something I coined muscle cyclicality. Don't need to know too much more about that, but it's cycling through various muscle groups to, again, avoid those things and achieve results. So those are your three strength days. 20 minutes. I've been programming since again, when I was in college and recently I spent the year with the J method, my own company on a digital platform. And what I learned from that is people don't like when you say something is 20 minutes and it's really 24. They don't like that. They're like, Rah! Because what happened was this app wouldn't account for a voiceover transition between moves. So the 20 minute workout became 24. 
So I was like, oh, wow, this is cool. People are really, when they, when they make time for something, they want to know exactly how much time it's going to take. And I also learned people don't really want to do the same thing day after day, even if it is progressive. They want to go about it a different way, a variation of the move. So it feels new. It feels fresh. So with all of that feedback, especially in the past year, this is how job one came about, where I was, took everybody's feedback. I, you know, people want to train core. You can't overtrain core. Core is just like any other muscle. Can't overdo it. A lot of people do movements that aren't that efficient, like crunches and more crunches and then some more crunches on top of that. That's not efficiently moving your core. It's a great way to build up the abdominal wall. But if you have a layer of fat on top of that, your abdominals are going to descend outward. Nobody thinks about that. Also, nobody thinks about nutrition. So it was a great opportunity. If you can just prioritize yourself in 20 minutes, you got that done. And you not only developed a stronger body, but a stronger mindset. What choices are you gonna make now moving forward? How are you gonna treat your body? How are you gonna fuel yourself? Not just food, but also the way you start to think. And I'll, throughout the years, a lot of the roadblocks in front of people were perceived limits of whether it be, I can't do it, I'm too old, I'm not an athlete, oh, I just had kids, I don't have time, my work is too demanding. All these things are, exist, but if you have somebody who believes in you enough, who supports you, you start to think, you know what, it's only 15 seconds, it's only, uh, I can do this, I can push past whatever I'm feeling, and I can achieve this. If you have the right support, and again, this is what's so incredible about Crush Nation. That's what you offer each other. You might not even realize that you're all coaches. At the same time, you not only offer support to your customers, but you offer support to one another. You help each other become better coaches, better business owners, better people. That is so incredible. The chat is blowing up. <laughs> we Crush also, is a fam. Yeah, we also have a lot of clients on here too. And there's a lot of people okay. that are partnering that are going to be jumping in with, this is their first program with you, like with oh. anybody ever. So it's so exciting to see so many people coming together. And I think that's the beauty of community and the beauty of your ripple um, and also what you're sharing. So I want, I've got a couple of questions in here um that are so good so I just okay one is a personal question do you work out every day how many days a week no. do you work out no 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 <laughs> I love hearing that um, yeah I usually before job one maybe it was um honestly three times a week but I uh, again I was not strong in in what I wanted to do I recently posted this like video it's like this melange of like my past from 2015 to now. And I, as great as a core might look, it I never had a functional core. I never was strong enough to do actual things, like things that most people can do, I could not do. And so when I was programming job one, I wasn't thinking about myself, of course, I was thinking about all of you. And I thought, what would be the great core moves? What can I come up with that's not been done before? What can I come up with that has been done, but is one of the most efficient moves? And I even myself said, I'm not going to be able to do this. I told my prod dev team, I don't think I can do that move for 30 whole seconds, plus another move, plus a, like, I'm going to struggle. And obviously I had to rehearse a lot. So that's called training. And <laughs> I've never had a stronger core than I do right now. I am consistently following job one. My personal performance is through the roof, meaning when I get on, so when I get on body and I get on that bike, I don't, I just get on the bike and I go, like, I don't need to practice, like, not that I ever did. I obviously it's kind of ingrained in me, but the fact is I feel my strongest on the bike, for example, or just physically, I haven't had a, a core that looks like quite like this and, and my glutes as well. I mean, the whole body, I'm just like, so Sometimes you got to put a little more work in than just three days a week. And so I'm grateful for this program as well, selfishly, uh, because I have something now to use. I used to use my own J method on this app, 
but it was kind of boring. You know, it's kind of like these like glorified gifs and that's my voiceover every week. I was like, oh, it's like, yay for me. This is like super, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, she crazy, she aggressive, but she brings it out. So that's what I currently am doing is job one. And again, prior to job one, earlier in the year, January, I had a lot of, I had a lot of companies approaching me from obviously Carl. We had always been in talks since 2019. I had Jillian Michaels. I had iFit. I had, I mean, I can just keep naming these lists of people. I almost said to myself, I think I'm done. Like, I think I don't have it. Like, I don't look how I used to like, ugh, I lost it. But see how that works? You can always find it again. It's never too late to start or to start over. And when you start again, even better, because you take all of that expertise, all of the experience, whether that feel like failing or not, and you are able to come back wiser, sharper, and able to truly unleash your best. Luana, I have like a lump in my throat. I think like every person needs to hear that, you know, like, so thank you for being so vulnerable. Um, I would also love, there's a great question from Courtney. She was in the test group, Courtney Swissman. Um, she asked in 20 minutes, right? So it's 20 minutes. There's people that are like, is 20 minutes enough? I know that you've also added in, there's a 20 minute psych cycle, which is fire, by the way, I can't wait to get home on my bike. So I tried it in uh, Tatarana and it was amazing, but you've got a couple different things that you are stacking into the program as options, right? So there's a 10 minute. Can you elaborate a little bit on the, how we can build and stack if people so choose outside of the 20 minutes and how is just the 20 minutes also really amazing and enough? So the test group, not the success starter test group. There's another test group that helped me build the program that achieved the results that you see like in those pictures where it's like on job one program or even on beach body, those results were achieved just with the base. So the five days a week for four weeks, no bonus, no go out and do some cardio and no restrictive diet either at all. So we were very deliberate with this because we wanted real results, real results, real people got jobs and everything like that. So those results are achieved from just that, which is phenomenal. I personally haven't really touched the bonus because obviously I don't have access to it. The bonus is incredible though, because it allows you to add more training volume. Now you got to understand something about training volume. Too much increases your chances of overtraining, overstressing the body, the muscles, they're not going to really want to change, especially when you continue to do more sets, your form starts to go out the door. You always want to execute with the best form possible. So that's why two sets feels like a little bit, but you can get a lot done. If you approach it, like I have two opportunities. This is it. Like Eminem playing, lose yourself. That kind of, I got one shot. Let's do this. Now the bonus allows you to layer in. So example, if it's start strong day one, back glutes and core, and you're like, oh, I felt great. You know what? I have another 20 minutes. I wouldn't mind adding more core, then you're going to have 20 minute core. You also have 20 minute glutes. So if you really wanna fire up them glutes, you have 20 minute legs. If you wanna increase the volume of the legs, this session is incredible because it offers more unilateral, meaning one side at a time. So balance and strength. And then upper body, heavier focus on the arms as well. Then the fifth bonus is recovery and stretch. You can use that as often as you like. Start your day with it, end your day with it, Saturday, Sunday it, whatever you'd like. And then the cycling, those are optional, right? Completely optional. For some people, the body weight cardio is just not their jam. They're like, I don't want to do hit it. And I don't want to do sweat with my body weight. Or I do, but at some point, I'm going to want some variation. So I have four optional cycling rides, completely optional. Again, wasn't part of the base program that you can easily swap in and out for those body weight cardio days, hit it and sweat. Or say it's Saturday, you feel really good. You're like, you know, hit it was Tuesday, it's now it's Saturday. I want to do hit and hills or hit and Tabata or power climb or sweat session. Again, two of those cycling rides, the exact format of what you do on the floor, exact format in terms of intervals. And then the other two just support that high intensity, different variation, and also the endurance. So you have a lot of options, which is always great. 
So, so good. What would you recommend for, there's a couple of questions. This came up twice in the chat. What, uh, for the workout on Apple watch or heart rate monitor, would you do like, what, what would you say these workouts are to count them? So there's like, I, I personally, I'll be honest. I don't use data trackers because of their overestimation of what we accomplish and us Americans, we underestimate what we consume in terms of calories in calories out. But if you were to use your Apple Watch, I would probably select cross training or strength on those days, those three strength days. And then for the cardio days, I think I would suggest, I mean, is there high intensity or is there something like that? I would, I would select hit for hit. And then for the endurance, those are three minute intervals followed by a minute recovery four times. That isn't hit in my book at all. That's more pushing the VO2 max, which we don't really need to know too much about what that means, but it just helps you improve your endurance. So oh, wait, there's not hit. Hit. there's not even hit. Cross there's not hit. Okay, I so always put cross training. I always just put cross training. Yeah, yeah. cross training is a good safe bet. Oh yeah. no, someone Lisa says there is hit on some there's of them. Hit. Maybe I need to add more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this technology functional is. strength training. That's a good one right there. Yeah, I like that. functional strength, strength training. Stacy Brunel crushed your test group. Um, there is hit on Apple watch. Mine needs to be upgrade, updated. Okay. I love this. See, we are always learning. Okay. Um, there's just one, a few can, more questions. Oh yeah. Can I ask a question? Jen. Yes. Um, so I just found out that I have two herniated discs in my back. They're not too far gone. Like I'm, I'm good. How would you, say I go about this program with my back injuries. They're not to progress, but I don't want to progress them even more. Correct. Um, I would say, are you working with a physical therapist first and foremost? Not at the moment. I, oh, I'm you, starting a new job, so I just need to, I don't have the money to pay for it yet. So I'm about to, but um, yeah. Okay. Always consult with somebody who's working with you, especially people always tend to use a physical therapist once they've had surgery and have been completely injured they forget to like start going to them sooner um i have a great one who consults online if you need it if not you find yours who works for you mine's a miracle worker um i've never been injured uh, thank thankfully uh because of this man's efforts in terms of prehab and matcha every day that helps too <laughs> self comment um so in terms of that once you're cleared for okay because i can't clear you for that I would probably most likely avoid any sort of jumping movements. So that's where, do you have a bike? Uh, no, I don't have a bike. Don't have a bike? Okay, so in terms of cardio, you could probably just safely walk for the moment. If you're okay to strength train, then this program is going to be great for you in terms of that, if you wanna to continue to do that. But again, I, you really have to consult with the doctor. Okay. Um, I would just know herniated discs, you wanna avoid aggravation, of the spine. So again, jumping is probably not your best friend. There are modifications for the jumps though. So like you saw today, squat to calf raise, super effective. Like um, the, the Z move, um, yeah. I've never, uh, I've done the sample three times now, this is my third time. Um, and any of the samples, I've never used weights. Is that okay? Just because my core, but it's so yep. ishy, or like, you know, so is it okay not to use weights in that movement or? 100%. I would, you know, you're, you're free to, especially for the lower body, not to use weights at all. Now, is that hard to do for some things? Of course. But if you have the ability to connect your mind to the muscle, so everybody do me a favor, you're going to stand up and we're going to like, you're just loosey goosey right now, your feet are into the floor, shoulder width apart. And what I want you to do without tensing up your face, your neck, your anything here, waist below, you're gonna focus waist below. I want you to give me about a 50% contraction of your glutes, like squeeze your glutes, just about 50%, five out of a 10, okay? So what you have to do is ramp up from the floor, generate tension through the muscles. Now give me 70%, give me a little more in the glutes. You'll start to feel also the quads, the hamstrings. Now I need you to give me 80%. Now keep squeezing the glutes. 
You're going to give me 100. Go 90. Let's go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And now 100% for five seconds. Go. Fire them up like you're going to make them fall off. Three, two, one. Release. Relax. So that was your ability to generate tension throughout your body without the use of a dumbbell of a weight. So if you can, like I'm doing these archer rows and I am pulling the uh, imaginary air, I'm totally exhausting myself. Again, you can always make those modifications. Do I supply those in this workout? This is not a program for people coming back from injury or who are injured. Unfortunately, that's not this program, but feel free to be involved and make those modifications that work for you, please, please. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, Shannon mentioned that her husband who actually had an injury was able to do some of the moves today with her and he hasn't been able to work out in 10 months. So just wow. kudos to that. And I just think the functionality of this program is going to be amazing for so many people. Okay. Just two more questions. One, we've got some new mamas, pre new pregnancies, not new mamas, but multi like third time mama pregnant. Um, is this okay for pregnancy? If you've been cleared by your doctor and you've been training throughout your pregnancy consistently, yes. But again, always consult with the doctor. How many pregnant women have I seen third trimester, even fourth in the test group and just online doing this has been incredible. So because I don't, especially when it comes to the core, rarely am I ever going to do a crunch. I do do a sit to press, but it's again, a more functional move. I'm very cognizant of a lot of women as well. Women who are going to get pregnant, are pregnant or have been pregnant to, to just understand that that's not the best way to train the core. So you won't see a lot of those movements. You'll see some new movements you haven't seen before. Can I ask a question? Yes, Sherry. Sorry, Kim, for butting in. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think you kind of already addressed this with the functionality, but I got kicked off on the internet. Um, I'm just wondering, I always hesitate when a program is faster pace and shorter because I like just from personal experience, I find that when we go faster, some of our weaker muscle groups tend to kick in and then we have compensation happening. Um, so do you have any recommendations for how people should approach the program based on fitness level? Like somebody maybe who hasn't been working on fitness versus somebody who has been? I don't know what program you're referring to in the past. I do know there is um, Transform 20, for example, another 20 minute program, which is one of the hardest programs to do. Even Sean told me himself, this is, <laughs> it was not for everyone <laughs> at all. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, I haven't personally looked at it, but knowing that the own creator says something like that, I made sure this was for anyone and everyone. So again, it's only 20 minutes, but we do get a lot done without it feeling rushed. That's really important. So I don't feel like what you mentioned, the weaker muscles. I feel like I'm going to help strengthen your weaker muscles. Again, it's not fast paced in the sense of, oh, oh my God, it's just like too intense. It's too crazy. What you see from the sample, obviously I'm trying to get a lot done here to give you some taste, but for the most part, you start let me like go through the week. You start strong Monday. A lot of us, I don't know, do you indulge? Do you have a little, little sweet something? You got a little salty, salty, a little drink in you. Monday comes around. You're not like, Whoa, I want to hit it. No, you're like Monday. Oh, ooh. so that's our day where we lift heavier with more control. When you lift heavier with more control, you don't move fast. Okay. So that's Monday. Then Tuesday. Yeah. You need to take the energize. We're about to hit it. We get this is time. Give me the intensity. And I'm only asking one day out of the week for that. Is that fast paced? Of course it is. I'm getting a lot done in these 20 minutes, but it's also it's very structured. You know exactly how long to work and how long to rest and how hard to work in those intervals. Wednesday comes, we're combining resistance loops and dumbbells. Why? Because resistance loops, bands, whatever we want to call them allow you to drive more tension throughout the muscles during the full range of motion. 
So it attacks the muscles a bit differently. When you do bicep curl with dumbbells, when you lower the weights down, you lose the contraction. When you anchor down with one side and you use the resistance loop, you are feeling tension throughout. So it's great to have a combination of both. Then Thursday comes back, we do cardio. Again, three moves, 30 seconds, three minutes on, one minute off, each round, different moves. Easy to follow, this does not feel quick, feels efficient. And then Friday, fan favorite, because you're getting not only those three muscle groups, but now circuited. So circuit style, which increases your heart rate in between each set, a power minute to increase the intensity. That's highly effective way to, again, get a lot of training volume, short amount of time, feel intense, feel stronger than when you started the week. So if I lay that week out for you, and you know those formats are always the same, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but the moves all change, right? And the muscle pairings, it gives you something to look forward to, but something to feel really comf confident with, because you know what to expect in those formats after the first week. So again, I don't think it moves too quickly. I've always been the trainer who thinks about not myself. How fast can I grab my weights? Because I've trained people virtually since 2007, where I connect one-on-one -on -one with them and I see how people move. I, I, I get it, kids. Oh, okay. Oh, no. okay. All right. So when I'm talking, you need to be getting, right? You need to be getting ready. And again, I coach you through it. And I wanted it not to feel like there's this huge time. I'm not going to say, all right, so we have a tricep. Our three moves in the tricep are da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da-da. You forgot what number one was. You're like, huh? What is she saying? So I just take you through it. Slowly the first set, then boom, the second set, we know the moves. Let's bring it. And let's probably increase the resistance. Probably maybe underestimated yourself and what you could do. So Sherry, let me know how you feel through it, but I really aimed to not be too quick because of that fact that people need time to get into these positions and to get really effective use of those muscles trained, you have to spend time doing it. Beautiful, thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey Jen, how are you? Thank you. <gasps> What's up Courtney? Hi, we're so excited that you're doing this. You know what, I would just love I think one of the biggest difference makers between what we do here as coaches and connecting our clients with job one is focused on results, which we talked a lot about, right? And so nutrition comes into such a massive part of this. Something that I learned from you in the test group was about prioritizing protein. So I would just love for you to share that really quickly with us, like what your sort of thoughts are on it and how you've used some of the products to prioritize protein and get results here. 100%. I've been a big believer in nutrition, not restriction. And there are so many restrictive measures out there for portioning out your, your meals to weighing them. You know, a lot of people count the macros and they weigh the ounces and they do all the things and they write it down and they log it. Okay, cool. They also, what do they do? They restrict the time in which you eat intermittent fasting. They cut out food groups like, oof, gotta get rid of the bread, no bread, you're done. Those are all great ways to initially lose weight because you are restricting yourself from calories initially. You are cutting something out. But when you re restrict yourself, you feel like you can't have it. And guess what? For most people, it makes you wanna have it more. And so over time, you'll start to think about it and like, oh, I really want that white piece of bread. <laughs> I want a BLT, whatever it might be. Then you start to do something else that's counter counterproductive, which is overeat those things, binge, whatever it might be. And then you feel like you failed. So nutrition, not restriction. When you prioritize one of these macronutrients, such as protein, which a lot of us lack in America, we don't get enough protein in or fiber for that fact. So if we can focus on consuming enough protein for ourselves based on our bodies, based on our activity levels, then you kind of help round out everything else, especially with the two nutritional programs that we do offer, especially with 2B Mindset, that is a big push on vegetables, veggies most, right? So I highly in, incentivize, I, I highly encourage people, sorry, 
to prioritize protein and nutrient dense foods. Nutrient dense foods, it's color. It's the things from the, from the ground. I've had clients, I, I do this thing with them. It's called a photo food log. I take on a client. I, I don't want you to tell me what you eat. I don't want you to write it down because I'm not going to read it, to be honest. I want you to take a picture of every single meal you eat in a day. So if you eat three to five times a day, you're going to take three to five pictures. You're going to put it in a little layout for me. You know, the little layout where you put the five pictures, little collage. Okay. And you're going to keep this log for maybe a week, maybe two, maybe who knows, whatever helps you. But it allows me to see, oh, this client's starting with me. It's a lot of beige going on. Creamer up in the coffee, not really a lot of coffee, which is fine, but there's beige there. Oatmeal, it's great for you, beige. Oh, some bread sandwich, beige. And dinner, it's like pasta with some chicken, beige. Where's the nutrients? Can I get more? Can I get more color? And then once I just ask them to do that for me, and oh, it would have been great if you just had a little more protein right here. There's no protein there. Their plates start to look fuller. They feel fuller. They feel like they're properly fueling themselves. So what is so great about Beachbody is that we have the nutrition, especially for nutrient dense, because not everyone has access to all of these beautiful organic fruits and vegetables. They cost a lot of money. Does Shakeology cost a lot of money? For somebody who doesn't understand nutrition, yes. For somebody who gets it and you break it down, what the cost is per shake, where are you getting that? It makes a whole lot of sense. So that's a great way to help somebody start to get the nutrients. And protein, like, hello, we have the greatest protein supplements. For me, I really enjoy the Beachbody performance line. I know that's not the biggest seller here. I don't understand why it's the best. Uh, from recharge to recover, those are my go-tos because I'm instantly getting 20 grams. So everybody's protein intake is different. Everyone's activity level is different. But if I were to tell you anywhere from what you'd wanna maybe aim to achieve, from guide, not just FDA guidelines, right? Because FDA guidelines aren't the greatest, but from actual studies that have been performed to see how do you create lean body mass? It's anywhere from 0 0.73 grams per pound up to 1.2 grams per pound. So if I'm 120 pounds, I'm gonna maybe try to get in between 100 and 120 grams of protein for that day. Again, every day is different. I'm going to aim for that. It doesn't have to be, oh, if I didn't get it, I failed, right? But I sure feel differently when I do achieve that. And that's where the supplementation comes into play because it's easy to, for me to achieve it. I like that before the bed eats. <laughs> that's my, it's like straight protein before bed. So that's why I, I use that too. I'm so glad you touched on that um, as well, Jennifer, because you're right. The performance line is unmatched. You know, it is so good. The protein is so good. So that was amazing. I can't, we can't thank you enough for joining us on this Saturday morning. Thank you. Guys, like honestly, so December 2nd, let's get some dates out here. December 2nd, like I, first of all, Jennifer, I'm so excited for you to see the ripple of your impact because like you haven't even seen it yet. You haven't even seen it yet. Like it's, I have chills, I have chills. So December 2nd, guys, this drops for preferred clients, right? So preferred clients are those that are on um, getting the discounts for products, the programs, you love it. You are always on products like me. I'm a prime, like every product I have of all, I will be a preferred client for my life. Um, so if you are a preferred client, you're getting the 25% off your products, your programs, um, and or you're a client and you want to switch over to preferred clients and you don't want to coach, but you really want to get the value discounts. That's that's an option for you on December 2nd. If you are a coach, December 2nd, the coach window open, uh, the coach window opens and we will be doing a, a lot of people are doing a test group on the 6th. So if you need a home for that, reach out to your coach. We'll plug you in. We're going to do a test group on December 6th to the 31st to try it before. Um, and then the client window is opening on December 16th. You are going to hear everything from what's going on in the test group. Um, and as we get access to this with Jennifer, and then we were going to jump into January with another job one phase. So there's so much planned. There's so many options. Um, and I know Jennifer, we are going to do you so proud, um, by literally yeah, I have 
to your motivation and your fire because it's all I, I you are correct i i don't know what is about to happen i think for a lot of you you've been doing this for years and you're it, some of you might be like oh another program just what i need in my life but you need to understand i'm so like obviously i have wasn't brought up the beach body way i'm my own person i've got a ton of expertise i put my whole heart into this program that honestly i wish there was something like this as when i was a mom my first baby i was so lost i was you know carrying the baby i was holding the baby i was like oh forget about me but a program not just that was effective and got me results but a program that really helped strengthen my mindset and me personally having gone through a lot in here and working through that to help others because i don't want anyone to ever feel like that that they can't that it's impossible that just there's no way around it i want people to eliminate that self-doubt that a lot of us suffer from not daily but maybe it happens in waves I want to be that person for you because there was somebody who was there for me when I needed it. And if I can pay that back, then I've done my job right. If I can do it efficiently and get you all incredible results, you whatever that may be, stronger, more functional, ripped, whatever, because Kim's getting all shred season over here. Um, <laughs> that's 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 a side effect. And again, it's incredible too. But if I can make you stronger for life, for the long term. No more restrictions. So the next program that you have, you don't really need to do the before and after. It's like, I can attack this program too. I can do this one. I got job one with me forever. This is this is the goal here. So I can't thank you enough. I'm just one person. I can't move the needle more than this. I've created it. Now it's on you. And uh, I'm counting on Crush Nation because you guys are going to crush it. Love it. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Amazing. We love you. Thanks, thanks, Jen. See more to next. come. More, more exclusive events to come with you Absolutely. all. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you.